Are you struggling to set up a course in Moodle? Let me show you how I set up my mathematics course in Moodle. These tips and tricks you can use for any course setup within Moodle. So let's look at what we will be covering within this course series. I'll show you the activities I use to teach with Moodle, the question bank and all the question types I use where learners can write their answers on their phones or tablets and it will easily transform into mathematics notations. I'll also show you how to embed interactive content like GeoGebra or FAT simulations. In this first lesson, I'll show you how to set up course categories as well as courses on our Moodle platform. Okay, so what you see on the screen is my actual planning for this uh, category and course setup. So yes, my course name, which will be Mathematics for Homeschooling. Then I have my various courses. You can see I have 10 courses here and I've set up the courses where I can include basic, intermediate and advanced skills within each topic of the mathematics for homeschooling. So I'll show you how I set this up on our Moodle platform. So let's jump to our Moodle platform. Here we in our Moodle site. You can see I'm logged in. First, you need to go to site administration. Once here, click on Courses, and next to Courses, click on Manage Courses and Categories. On our left, you'll see Course Categories, and on our right, you'll see here yeah, I can create courses within this category. So let's create our first category by clicking on Create New Category. Okay, so here it says add a new category and then it provides me with a parent category. We don't want to place it under miscellaneous so I'll remove that and I want it at the top level. Now I can add the category name. Remember my category name will be mathematics for homeschooling. So this will be my category name. I can leave the category ID blank and the description blank and now I scroll down and click on create category. This will create a new category on my platform. Now in my mathematics for homeschooling category I want to create the different topics within my mathematics for homeschooling. Now we need to create the different courses within my Mathematics for Homeschooling category. So I click on Mathematics for Homeschooling and once it's visible in my right pane, I can click on Create New Course. So I click on Create New Course. Now, before we create a course, let's look at the course default settings which we can set up beforehand. So let's click on Site Administration. Again, click on Courses and now click on Course Default Settings. Here you'll see the current course default settings. Under Visible, we allow it to show the course and not hide the course. However, if you're creating a course and you don't want it visible to the learners, you can hide it while you're busy with the course. Let's keep it on Show. Enable download course content. This will enable the users, the learners or the teachers to download the course content. If you scroll down under course format, you'll see here there are various options to choose from. Let's leave it at topics format. And since we will be providing a course for one year, let's leave it on 52 sections. We leave it on four sections and then all the default settings can be left as is. If we scroll down under Appearance, we can force a language pack to be implemented as a default. Then the number of announcements we can set, as well as the gradebook, if it should be visible to learners as well as educators, and Show Activity Report can be set to Yes. Under File Uploads, you can allow the maximum upload size 
by selecting one of the various options. Under completion tracking, this is really important. Make sure that it, it's set on yes. Also show activity completion conditions be set to yes. Under groups and grouping, you leave it as is. So let's click on save changes. And now our course default settings is set to the following. Now again, we can click on Site Administration, Courses, and then Manage Courses and Categories. And here we can set up our first course. Now, we want to set up a course within the category Mathematics for Homeschooling. So let's click on it. And once it's visible here, we can click on Create a New Course. Now remember, our first course was functions. So here, in our course full name, we provide a name, functions, and then we can copy and paste it to this short name. Okay. Remember, it's under the course category Mathematics for Homeschooling. You remember that we've set this to default to show. Course end date, we can uncheck. Course ID number, we can leave blank. And we can provide uh, a description for our course here. Let's scroll down. We can select an image from our computer. So let's click on add an image. Choose a file. And let's look at our course images here. And this is functions. So let's select the function image, upload the file, and here it will be uploaded. Then the course format, we already chose topics format and then the four sections. Scroll down under completion tracking. Let's look at appearance. Do you want to force a language? The number of announcements. Remember, we've set this in our course default settings. File upload. The file, the limit of file upload, and then completion tracking, we've set this all in our default settings. So let's click on save and return. And now our first course was set up. Let's click on it and then scroll down and click on view. And here you'll see our first course. Let's go to our home page. And now you'll see our first course with the image we've uploaded. So now we've created our first course. So let's create the rest of our courses. Click on Site Administration. Click on Courses and then Manage Courses and Categories. And now under our category Mathematics for Homeschooling, we can now click on Create New Course. Remember, our second course was Numbers and Number Series. Let's copy it and paste it. Let's just remove the two. We can copy and paste it here. Uncheck this. Remember, we've already set our course default settings. We can now select an image for our course. and upload it. This will be the default and then save and return. So there are already two courses. Remember our first course is functions. Our second course is number patterns, sequences and series. So let's move this to the top by clicking on the arrow that's pointing up. And this will move functions to our first course. Now let's click on site home. And you'll see now the two courses that we've created. Okay. So let's click on the gear icon now and click on turn editing on. Now you can see both courses, but you'll see here we can add a course from the front page. So let's click on add a new course. Our third course will be finance, growth and decay. 
let's paste it in here. Let's just remove that. It's not under miscellaneous, remember. It's under mathematics for homeschooling. So make sure that you select the correct course category. Let's uncheck this. Scroll down. Select an image for our course. Let's do this uh, finance and growth. Upload. All this will be a default. Click on save and return. So now we've created under our category mathematics for homeschooling. We can click on the arrow and it will open up our categories, our courses. So let's click on it again. And now if we click on it and we go to manage courses here, you'll see all our courses there and our category. So this one needs to move to the bottom by clicking on the down arrow. And here's our three courses. Let's create a new course. Our fourth course will be Algebra. Okay, so here you can see all our courses, our 10 courses, under our category Mathematics for Homeschooling. If we go into the courses, scroll down and click on View, you'll see there's our course been set up with the four topics that we've specified. Let's go to our site homepage, and here you'll see all our courses on our site homepage. So now let's click on Site Administration, scroll down and under Front Page click on Front Page Settings. This is our site name and we can give a site summary but here under Front Page and Front Page when logged in, let's choose Categories to show. This also list of categories. Scroll down and click on save. Now it will show the course categories on the front page and you'll see here in brackets there are 10 courses within this category and when you click on mathematics for homeschooling you'll see all the courses within that category. So this is how we set up our categories and our courses within Moodle. So this is how you set up the categories as well as the courses on your Moodle platform. In our next lesson I'll show you how to set up the activities within a course as well as the different question types within the question bank.